All right, Shalom. First of all, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakai Kodash, that will honor our elder apostles with a great millstone and do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, that's pushing his word and shooting sincerity. All right, today I want to get into a quick lesson on uh, how everybody has to pay for their sins, man. All right, and uh, uh, touching on death, okay? Because, hey, man, hey, we, we all die because of sin, man, hey, and everybody has a time to go, okay? Everybody has a time to go, man. All right, so when people die, all right, it's not just because they died, man. All right, they died because, hey, that was their appointed time, man. All right? Hey, and we all died because of sin, okay? Hey, it, it, it ain't nobody good, man. All right? Everybody sins, man. We all we all have to pay for our sins, okay? So when someone, uh, one of your family members was passed away, all right, or something like that, man, hey, they died because, hey, it was their time to go, all right, and they died because of their sins, so uh, I'm going to start with Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right? So, hey, there is a time and place for everything, man. All right? It was meant for you to go in that time. All right? It meant for you to be right there. All right? Hey, and everything played out uh, perfectly, man. All right? The way it was supposed to be. All right? Hey, how about Shemiah Shai set up to be that way? So inside of verse 2, it says, a time to be born and a time to die. All right? So, hey, man, it's, it's, a, time, it's a time to be born, man. All right? For you to come into this world. All right? Be birthed through your mother. All right? And then it's a time for you to die, man. All right? Go back to the grave. All right? And it says, a time to plant and a time to pluck, uh, pluck up that which is planted. So let me get uh, Romans. Six and verse, uh, let me see, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through, Ama through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, our Lord. All right. So, hey, man, the wages of sin is death, man. All right. Everybody on this planet sins. OK, everybody on this planet sins, man. All right. So, hey, we, we all we all have to uh, uh, die, man. All right. We all die because of sin. OK, your sins ha have to be repaid, man, the way in uh uh, uh, the the you know the payment for sin is death, okay. But it says, but the gift, but the gift of uh of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai a Mashiach. All right. So, hey, Amen. A D elect is gonna have eternal life though, man. All right. If you uh uh, uh trust Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You know, hey, if if you be a part of the elect, man. Hey, the elect, the elect is not gonna perish, man. All right, the elect is going to have ever, uh, everlasting life, man. We're going to be uh, eternal, all right? And it says, uh, no, let me get John, First John. First John 3 and verse 4 says, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. All right, so, hey, amen, the way, the way you sin is going off from the law. All right, you so-called Negro Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Hey, hey, the way the way you sin, all right, is going off in the law, man. If you're not following the law, that's the commandments of your how about Shemal Shai, okay? You're sinning, you're going off, all right. Hey, man, you you don't want to die inside of your iniquity, all right. You want you you want to try and hope to be a part of hopefully like, man. All right, but hey, two thirds of our people is gonna be put to death, man. Somebody has to be a part of two thirds, man. All right, you two third niggas, hey, man. If you don't get it, so hey, so be it. Who cares? All right, somebody has to feel that lot, man. All right, somebody has to feel that lot. All right, hey, if 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 you be a part of two thirds, hey, so be it. But we're not gonna persuade our people to uh just go off and, and do wickedness, man. All right, scripture say uh, uh Yahweh gave no man license to sin. All right, so hey, man, we're not gonna push. All right, oh well, uh, if you if you feel like you a wicked nigga, all right, go on here and just keep being wicked. No, we gonna keep telling you to come back from your uh uh uh, uh your wicked ways and come back to laws. Establish commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, stop being a wicked nigga and get right. All right, we're going to keep telling you that, man. All right, because, hey, that's our job. That's our full-time job, man. That's what we're supposed to do. So now, let me get <clears throat> Psalms. Because, hey, man, hey, uh, uh, it's like when people pass away, man. All right, they go back to the spirit world. Then, you know, uh, 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 it'll be somebody saying, damn, they was so, they was such a good person. They was such, you know, they did so many good things, man, this and that. All right. But hey, this, this, this is what the Lord has to say. This is, um, Psalms 14 
in verse uh, 2, Yahweh looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if to see if there were any that did understand and seek Yahweh. They are they are all gone aside. They are all they are all together become filthy. There is none that do it good. No, not one. All right. So, hey, amen. It's none that do, that do it good, man. All right. There's none that do it good, man. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai had to come and uh, lay down his life for us, man. All right? Because, hey, man, hey, we, our, our righteousness is kind of filthy rags, man. All right? Hey, we, we all were at one point in time uh, wicked niggas. All right? But through the spirit power, Yahweh Shai, man, hey, we, we are woke up and coming to the fact that uh, uh, we, we, are the true, um, we are the true children of, of the Most High, man. All right? We are the true sons of, sons of Yahweh Shai. All right? We are the children of Yasharala. Okay, we not we not some uh black black people, Hispanics or Native Americans, man. All right, we we are the greatest people on this planet. All right, hey man, we 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 are the rulers of the universe, man, the guardians of the galaxy. All right, so let me get Romans, cause they says the same thing in the New Testament, man. Romans three, and verse uh ten it says. As it is written, all right, that as it is written is inside of Psalms, and I believe it's uh, uh, Psalms 14 and 54, I believe, too. And it says, there is none righteous, no, not one, all right? There is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after Yahweh. They are all gone gone out of the way. They're, they are all together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no, not one, all right? There is none that do it good, man, all right? No, not one. Even uh, 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 Yahweh Shai said that there's only one good and that's Yahweh. Let me grab that. Matthews 19 and verse um, 16 it says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Alright, so this was um, uh, a disciple asking Yahweh Shai a question. It says, And he said, and he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That uh, that is Yahweh. All right. So Yahweh Shai said there is none good. All right. Hey, Yahweh Shai never sinned a day in his life, man. All right. When he was Yahweh Shai. All right. But in his past life, he sinned, man. All right. Yahweh Shai past, uh, 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 was Solomon. In the past life, he was Adam. All right. And many other uh, 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 people, man. All right. Yahweh Shai sinned in his past life. So Yahweh Shai know, knew that. Uh, um, uh, there, there's none good, man. All right, but Yahweh. All right, but Yahweh, man. And it says, but if, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep, keep the commandments. All right. So, hey, man. Uh, um, like, hey, when uh, a nigga dies or whatever, man. All right, a wicked bitch dies. All right, then they say, uh, oh, well, she was such a good person. He was such a good person. All right. But hey, man, Yahweh Shai himself said there's none good but Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai didn't see him one time when he was Yahweh Shai, man. All right? But Yahweh Shai is the wisest man on the planet. All right? He he knew he knew everything, man. All right? Hey, he was Solomon. Yah, uh, Yahweh granted Solomon uh, 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 wisdom and made him the wisest man to ever be. All right? And he came back as Yahweh Shai. All right? And it says, but, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. All right? So, hey, man, the way, the way you get life, man. All right, true life, cause this is not life, man. This is hell, man. Hey, it's it's, be it's better to be dead inside of th inside of this life to uh than to be living, man. All right, it's a scripture that says that too. But uh, uh yeah, man. Hey, the, the the way you enter into life, man, is keeping the commandments, man. All right, trusting in Yahweh, Bashim Shai, having faith, man. All right, hey, that's the way you enter uh enter into life, man. All right, not being a nigga. So now let me get. Uh, well, let me see if I can find this right quick. I think it's Ecclesiastes 7. Um, Salakia. Yap Khan. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Uh, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So, hey man, it's, it's, it's better. The uh, uh um the the end of a thing is better than the beginning, man. All right, the end of your life is better is better than uh when you first come into this world, man. All right, cause hey man, this world has nothing but death set up for us, man. All right, nothing but death and vanity, man. 
All right, hey man, it's, it's better. To, it's better for us to be with uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai in the spirit world, man, where we can't go off, man. All right, where we can't sin and do uh, and do more wickedness, man. All right, it's better for us to be up there than than be down here inside of hell. So let me get Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews seven and twenty-seven. Uh, going back to Yahweh Shai, and it says, "Who needed? Who needed not daily as those high priests?" To offer up sacrifice first for his own sins, and then for the people's. For for this he did once when he offered up himself. All right, so Amen. Hey, Yahweh Shai, um, uh, 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 gave up his life for his sins and the sins of uh um the elect man. All right, Yahweh Shai gave up his his life for the sins uh, uh, uh his past life and for um for the elect. Okay. So, um, uh, hold on, let me see. Right, con, con. So, yeah, you know, let me read this over. This is Hebrews 7 and 27. Who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. All right. So, yeah, man. Hey, hey, everybody has to pay for their sins, man. All right, Yahweh Shai uh, 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 had to pay for his, man. All right, so what more are you? All right, hey, man, we, we ain't nothing, man. All right, so what so what more are you? Okay, a wicked nigga that, 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 uh, that died, all right? Hey, you, you got to pay for yours too, all right? Because, hey, the, the wages of sin is death. So let me get Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 15. It says, that, that which have been is now. And that which is to be already, uh, that that which is to be, have already been, and Yahweh required that which is past. All right. So, hey man, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai requires uh, uh your your past sins, man. All right. You have to pay for what you have done, man. All right. Nothing go nothing goes unpaid, man. All right. Hey hey, if you if you if you had debt, all right, fifty thousand dollars a day, and you only paid twenty five, hey, you still got to pay that other twenty five, man. All right. You have to pay for you have to, you got to pay for your sins, man. Yahweh requires that which is past, man. Hey, nobody gets around that, man. Nobody. All right. Hey, people just don't die for no reason, man. All right, you die because hey, that that was your time to go. All right, and you sin. All right, so hey, you have to pay for your sins. So this is second Second Chronicles five. I'll say uh, Second Corinthians five and ten. It says. For for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach, that every one that receive it, for every one may receive the things done in his body according to to that um, to that he he have done, whether it be good or bad. All right, so Amen. You have to pay for uh you you you're gonna get re rewarded whatever you have done inside of your body, man. All right, whether you uh, uh uh you you know you did righteousness, man. All right, you a man of the Lord. All right, you follow all such commandments to the best of your your ability, man. All right, and you're gonna get a, re a reward according to that, and you're gonna get a reward according to being a wicked nigga. All right, hey, everybody ha has a reward, man. Everybody, Wh whatever it may be, whatever the Lord wants to give you, man. All right, hey, that's what you're gonna get. Okay, hey, that that's reincarnation, man. All right, you just you just don't go to the spirit world. All right, and then just go be lottie gagging and, and, and playing around with angels and shit, man. All right, or you just go to hell and burn forever, man. All right, no, you you, you come, you uh you get judged, all right, then you get sent back here. Let me get uh Hebrews, Hebrews 9 and 27. It says, and as and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. All right. So, hey, man, once you die, then you get judged, man. All right. You die, then you then you get sent back here. All right. This this is the uh, uh the place of judgment. All right. You get you you get uh uh, uh judged by your Shai in the spirit world. All right. Then the Lord sends you back here. Hey, what whatever whatever um the Lord wants you know to be played out throughout your life. All right. Whether you die a grievous death. All right. Whether or whether you you know you you have been a righteous. You know, man, to try to be, you know, the best that you could be, man. The Lord rewards you for that. All right, a good reward. You know. So let me get uh, Second Ezra fourteen 
In verse 35, it says, For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and uh, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. All right. So, amen. Uh, 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 after you die, all right, then you get judged. Then we going to live again, man. All right. Ain't no YOLO, man. All right. So, you, uh, 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 you know, all you wicked niggas, man. All right. Saying YOLO and, you know, we just go add sin on top of sin. Do whatever we want to, man. Have a, um, uh, 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 what, what they call it, uh, um. <laughs> uh, damn, I forgot. I forgot the word they use, but you know, basically, I uh, 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 a bucket list, a bucket list. You know, um, you know, you 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 go and have threesomes. Are right? you sleep with men, men and men and men having sex, women and women having sex? Are right? you got that on your bucket list, man? All right, hey, the Lord is gonna repay you for that, man. All right, the Lord is gonna repay you for uh, um uh, all the sins that you have done, man. All right, so it ain't no YOLO, man. All right, ain't no YOLO. Everybody got to come before the judgment seat of Yahweh for the for the things that they have done in their flesh, man. All right. So let me get Hebrews. Hebrews ten and verse um, thirty one. It says, "It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power." All right. So, hey man, hey, it's a very fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. All right, cause hey man, they will jack you up. All right, hey man, that's why people comes back with uh, uh um you know uh Down syndrome man. All right, they come back with little arms. All right, they come back with big heads and the small bodies man, midgets and you know all kind of other things that the Lord have done to them man. You know uh, uh whether I've been you know you you come back you come back uh perfect inside of your body man. All right, but then the Lord uh, make it where you uh um you know you a baby and you. Inside of a house and you uh, survive a burning fire, man. Now your body all burnt up, all right? And now you looking like um, uh, the abomination from the Incredible Hulk, man. All right, something like that. You know, hey, man, well, whatever the Lord, <laughs> hey, man, it's a fearful thing, man. It's a very fearful thing, man. All right, the Lord can do crazy things to you. So, hey, you don't want to keep on sinning, all right, and being wicked, man. All right? Hey, you got to come back to uh, Law, Statutes, Commandments, man, for you Israelites, man. You so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right? Skip all the other heat and skip everybody else, all right, that, that doesn't fall under that category, man, all right? But, hey, we have confusion of faces too, man, all right? Some uh, people that look like the other nations, but they are but they are really Israelites, man, all right? And it's two-thirds inside, inside of that uh, category as well, man, all right? But I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukai Kodash, that will honor our elder apostles with a great millstone and do a well, and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that's pushing his word in true sincerity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.